We begin with police using deadly force on a man who they say stalked, shot, and killed his ex-girlfriend in a hotel parking lot. There are a number of scenes to this, a number of agencies that are investigating this tonight. Plenty of moving parts, so let's take you through this step by step. This morning, police say the shooter opened fire on his ex-girlfriend and her new boyfriend in the parking lot of a hotel on Northwestern Highway. That shooting left the woman dead and the man critically injured. Then, a few hours later on the Lodge service drive at Seven Mile, police stopped the suspect in the case. He was in uh, this convertible when police say he reached for a gun, and that is when officers began shooting. Victor Williams live with more on this, and uh, you just got an update here from police within the past hour, Victor. Oh, yeah. Well, first off, let's just say it was a very busy day for both the Southfield and Detroit police departments with one 40 year old woman unfortunately now being killed and the person who is responsible for doing that to her meeting their fate at the hands of police officers right behind me. It's traumatizing to see, man. I'm telling you, it's really traumatizing to see all that blood. Officers shoot and kill a man allegedly on the run for shooting his ex-girlfriend along with her new lover earlier in the day at the Detroit Marriott Southfield Hotel at 924 AM. It appears that he waited in the parking lot until they exited the hotel, at which time he used an assault rifle and did shoot both of them. One man wishing not to go on camera saw the aftermath once police caught up to the suspect near the lodge in Seven Mile nearly two hours later around 12 30 p.m. When I looked behind me and I seen five officers standing on top of a black Camaro, a drop top Camaro. About five officers, guns pointed down at him, telling him don't move. And when he was going to lift up his gun, they just fired at him and killed him. Police say the car the suspect was in this time was not the same one that fled the scene of the Marriott Hotel in Southfield and that he switched cars after going to his home in Warren. Once officers caught up with him, his next move seemed like something right out of a Hollywood movie. He lowered the top of the uh, Camaro, at which time our officers tried to engage him. He did reach for that assault rifle. Uh, and the officers did use deadly force. Sadly, it's the family members of everyone involved that now have to deal with the aftermath of the tragedy that's taken place. We know what an assault rifle could do. Uh, we know what he'd already done uh, to his uh, loved one and her companion. Our hearts, our thoughts go out to those families. Now, the new boyfriend who was shot is now in critical condition in the hospital. Chief Barron just wants this to be an example and warning of how domestic violence is a national crisis. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, Victor.